Hello everyone! So very happy to see you today. Oh gosh, it's a beautiful Saturday. Um, I'm feeling great. My wife and I went out and we had just like a little fun breakfast this morning. I'm repping, I'm repping Attack on Titan once again. I got Levi back here, which is great. I don't know if you can see him, but there he is. Um, and I actually wanted to show that to you because I'm a little chilly and I'm going to put on a flannel. Um, but, uh, that is backwards. We had a good little day. Like I said, we got some breakfast. I went to the card show that they have here in the Columbus area every uh, couple of months. Um, which was very happy. Very, very happy. Had some great pickups. Um, so, uh, what was I going to say? I don't remember. Anyway, we're here, and it is a great day. Great, beautiful day outside as well. Um, there we go. And just as a little recap, we picked up Karen, the Houndour, and she is going to evolve into Houndoom next level. Very excited about that. Got that flash fire ability. Needs a fire move, but uh, we'll get there eventually. We have Autumn, the Grotel, or Grottle, however you said it. I Someone kind of corrected me that it also means Grotto. So maybe it is Grottle. I don't know. We got breakfast. The Togetic, uh, teaching it return was great. Skitter, the Pachirisu, Pikachu, the Vaporeon with still no water moves, and Inclusion, the Staravia. Um, hopefully can kind of help us get through the fighting gym that is coming up here. Um, so we're gonna have to take on some of these trainers. I might take on a few of the trainers here to the south, um, just to see if I can get Houndour going a little bit. Um, because Houndoom's not gonna be terribly useful against the fighting gym, seeing as um, Houndoom is a dark type. And that's gonna smart. Ooh. That little music flourish there. Dun dun bra dun dun bra is really, really good. Um, all right. So, let's see. Being here on a Saturday always thrills me. Um, oh, wow, we are... Goldeen probably has a water move now. Yeah, we'll just pop into Autumn here. Um, I know that there are a lot of people that can only make some of these three. Oh, my goodness. Always afraid of horn drill. Uh, I know there are a lot of people that can only make these streams kind of on Saturdays. I know I have some people over in Europe that will watch. Um, there we go. P.I. Carlos got flipping the coin. The coin came up tails and like it, I couldn't read the rest. Uh, he did give us a lot of money, which is great. Um, yes. Yeah, really, I just want to get Houndour to a Houndoom here, and then we will pop into the gym, and we'll start doing some stuff there. Um, there's also some other stuff we can do. Maybe we can check out the department store in Veilstone City. Um, oh, this is Skorupi, or Skorupi. Um, it is a poison bug type. Um, so fire would be great here. It is a new Pokemon for Generation 4. Really cool, actually. I love this Pokemon. Um, oh wow, the triple flinch! Come on now. That is gorgeous. Alright. Um, Yanma. Not bad. I don't know what Yanma knows right now. Ah, this Yanma has speed boost. I mean, it's using quick attacks, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot about Sonic Boom. Alright, so Karen. Hmm. I will switch train here a little bit. Oh, gorgeous regal sprite for uh, Tropius here. Um, we'll get inclusion in the mix. Oh, yes. Um, there we go. Because like I said, inclusion, inclusion is going to be important in the fighting gym here. 
Ooh, we're going to switch train again, and we should be able to get Karen to evolve with this. Carnivine! This is another new Pokemon. Um, it is a standalone grass type. It's a very interesting Pokemon. I don't really ever think about it much, but it is a Generation 4 Pokemon that you can catch a little later on in the game. And I think it's really cool. I It's kind of one of those forgettable ones, though. Not many people ever think about Carnivine. Um, all right, so Inclusion is doing work. Staravia is just a good Pokemon. Um, and that's why so many people use it on their playthroughs, including us at this point. Um, all right, so we're not trying to let Hound, uh, Hound Hour die, so it won't evolve. So let's go with Breakfast. Um, return it is. Oh, baby, that's a one-shot. And then Tangela. We will let Inclusion pick this one up as well. This trainer has been wonderful for some experience because it has some kind of like uh, not first form Pokemon that we can get some good experience off of. Let's check that out. It's like half a level. All right. And just like that, our friend Karen's evolving. So essentially, when you catch Hound Hours around this point of the game, you're basically catching a Hound Doom. I think they're all at level like 23 or 24. So all you gotta do is raise them one level and then they evolve. It's pretty wonderful. Let's see, no fire moves yet. All right. So let's pop back to Veilstone City. Karen the Houndoom, Hardy Nature, I don't know what that does. I should know what all of them do at this point. Um, excuse me, from doing all that Battle Frontier stuff, but alas, I don't really know. All right. So we're gonna heal the squad. Uh, but how's everybody's week been? Mine has been pretty good. Yesterday, I had not a day off, but like a professional development day. So here is the department store in Veilstone City. There's a lot of different stuff that you can buy here. Um, you can buy pretty much every kind of potion here. Um, there are some really powerful TMs here that we might want to check out. Um, but yeah, there's department stores in all of the Pokemon games, um, up to this point. They're in Celadon City, Goldenrod City, uh, Lilico City, and now Veilstone City. Um, it's lovely. It's always great to have. Um, let's see what I want to pick up. I think the person... Oh, great, a nice Poketch app. Oh yeah, this is a counter. Um, so you can just count stuff if you want. <laughs> you can count up to almost 10,000. Um, all right, so this is like that spot in the Johto one where you can pick up some vitamins. Um, I never really use X items. Hello, JJ, I'm glad your week has been good. Hi, Tainro! I'm happy that you can catch it too. Um, thank you for being here. Um, all right, so here are some of those powerful TMs I was talking about. Um, we have Fire Blast, Thunder, Blizzard, Solar Beam, and Hyper Beam. But here is a new move for Generation 4. This is Focus Blast. It is a special fighting type move, which up until this point had never existed before. It is a very powerful move that's something that like an Alakazam could use, for example. Um, and that could really be a nice foil to anyone trying to use a dark type Pokemon against Alakazam, because it can unleash this fighting type move that uses its special attack stat, which is really good for a Pokemon like Alakazam. Um, all right. So I, I definitely want to pick some of these up. Um, I'm not sure what yet. Blizzard might come in handy. But maybe not. Hmm. I don't know if we need these quite yet. I could, in theory, teach Houndoom Fire Blast. I'm curious 
what its move set is when it's going to learn that first fire move. Um, yeah, so it turns out our friend, um, whatchamacallit, Houndour had already forgotten a fire move. And it turns out our friend Houndoom actually does not learn Flamethrower until level 48. Um, it does learn Fire Fang at level 32, but like I was talking about with like the physical special split, um, it's going to use its far worse attack stat for that. So let's let's pick up Fire Blast. We'll teach it to Houndoom. It'll be really, really come in handy. Um, let's see. Oh, okay, you're super late to the series. That is fine. I'm so happy you're here at all. Um, we can pick up... We'll pick up a Focus Blast. I don't know who's going to use it, but I feel like we're good for now. I mean... We could load our team up. I can teach Pachirisu Thunder, I don't care. Let's do it. <laughs> um, screw it, man. We're loading up. I'll teach Vaporeon Blizzard. Um, okay, uh, Tainro, my team. Let me show you that. Um, we popped it in at the beginning. <laughs> Buy them all, I mean, hey. Um, all right, so here we have Karen the Houndoom. We just picked up Houndoom. Um, small Roar, Bite, Odor Sleuth, we are going to teach it Fire Blast. Um, we have Autumn, the Grodel, Bite, Curse, Mega Drain, Razor Leaf, very solid moveset there. Houndoom is so great. Houndoom is an, just an icon, really. Breakfast, the Togetic. We're going to be using Togekiss in this playthrough. We've got Yawn, Return, Metronome, Sweet Kiss. Skitter, the Pachirisu. Um, breakfast, yeah. <laughs> well, it was an egg, and <laughs> Brody thought that would be a good idea to name it breakfast. Um, and then we have uh, Pikachu the Vaporeon, doesn't have any water moves yet. I know. Um, we're probably, we're, I know we're not going to use Pachirisu the whole time, and we're not going to use Staravia the whole time, um, because Togekiss is going to be our flyer eventually. But let's see, hold on, what do you have? Okay, so you have some TMs as well. These are kind of more like support moves. Um, protect, false swipe, that type of thing. Ah, oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I have a few more surprises up my sleeve for the squad um, that I'm pretty excited about. Um, let's see what else is here at the department store. We're just doing some beautiful uh, exploring. Ah, yes. This is stuff for like a secret base that you can put in the underground. Um, because in this game, the secret bases are in the underground. They're not, um, secret bases like you can do in Emerald, like we had. And then up here, is there anyone that will give us something for giving them a drink? Let's see. Let's see. Because I always think of that. What if I give you a drink? Nope. Nope. Um, I always think of that trainer in the Gen 1 games, um, where you can give them drinks and they will give you ridiculously good TMs. Um, because in Generation 1, if you get, if you give them all three types of drinks, they will give you the TMs for Tri Attack, Rock Slide, and Ice Beam, which is ridiculously good. Excuse me. All right, so here on the first floor is where we can buy... Uh, yeah, for real. Really, really good. Um, we'll buy a few more of these. Kind of load up a little bit. Spend some of this money. We do have that amulet coin on breakfast, which I think has been really helpful. So we can buy a bunch of full heals. That's what I like to do. And I can sell off some of my other types of status healing items. There we go. I'll keep the awakenings though. Um, perfect. Do I have any nuggets or anything that we can do? I'll just sell that max repel. Tiny mushroom. Yeah, that's fine. Um, all right. So let's get out of here. Oh, I love that little sound that it makes when you go in. Listen. Bring. 
Here it is again. <laughs> Bring. Very cool. All right. So let's teach some moves, baby. And I always love that we can just come pick another one up if we ever need to. Um, it is really nice that we can just give Skitter Thunder. We'll get a uh, charm could come in handy in a in a fighting type gem. Maybe I'll drop Sweet Kiss. You know what? I will drop Sweet Kiss. Um, I know it really does bring everything alive. You are so right, Tainro. That is like. Um, sound design in general. Oh, wow, I forgot we have the TM for Earthquake. That is so good. So while we cannot give Vaporeon a water move yet, we're going to give Vaporeon the strongest ice move in the game. And we'll get rid of... We'll get rid of Tackle. I mean, we have Quick Attack. Who needs Tackle? Um, that is kind of one thing that I was thinking about um, with anime, specifically. Because that is one of the reasons I love anime so much, is the sound design. Oh wow, I did not know that Breakfast could learn Fire Blast. Um, let's see... yes. We'll get rid of Odor Sleuth. Um, but yes, um... Uh, sound design can really bring a game or a show or anything alive, and it's just one of those things that people kind of take for granted. So here, we have a huge Team Galactic headquarters. Um, there's a rare candy right behind it, which is nice. And it's like, this building's got like spikes on it, it's got like a rotating like Saturn ring on it, and it's pretty, uh, pretty out in the open, the Galactic Failstone building. We dream of the universe. So Team Galactic has a headquarters here. They have one in Eterna City. So they're really just kind of like out in the open. People don't really realize how nefarious they are as of yet at this point in the story. And I mean, you know, it's pretty well telegraphed that they're going to be bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, oh, with satellites on towers coming out. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. Oh. <laughs> um, so right here, what are these guys doing? Hey, you. Yeah, you. This is Team Galactic's warehouse, so we can't go in there yet. I wonder if we're going to go in there at some point. We are. Oh, there's a star piece. We could have sold that, but that's okay. Um, I know. That's what I'm saying. Um, so there is the game corner. I'm not really going to mess around with that here. I don't remember what you can buy there. Um, hmm. But in my memory, so there's something in these houses. Ah, which hand is the coin in? Left. Ah, crap. There we go. Oh, and this is how you get the coin case. <laughs> I was just saying, I knew that there was an item that you could get over here. And I'm almost positive one of these is a place where you can cut your Pokemon's hair. Is it you? Uh, a massage, yes. Um, so you can give a Pokemon a massage, and this is a way that you can increase their friendship. We'll give one to Karen. We just caught Karen. There we go. Oh, the humming note. How about that? Um, so if we were still trying to evolve Togepi, um, that would be a great thing to utilize. Oh, here's Dawn. What's she got to say? SCG, are you going to take the gym challenge? You keep getting tougher and tougher, don't you? Well, I went to shopping at the department store. <laughs> so Dawn's getting sidetracked. And here is a gym leader. The ring is my roiling sea. The towering waves shaped me. Crash, crash, crash your wake. Crash, crash, crash your wake. He's singing a song about himself. And this is the gym leader, Crasher Wake. He is not the fighting type gym leader that we are about to fight. He is actually a water type gym leader that we're going to encounter later in the game. But he does show up here. He's a very boisterous, fun character. He wears like a luchador mask. He's just, 
He's just delightful. He's very stupid and, and, and very great. <laughs> um, I'm the triple th th threat gym leader in Pokemon, wrestling, and song. Um, we'll meet again. Mm-hmm. Oh, how do those massages help you fill the Pokedex in BDSP? Is it just for the friendship? Um, so you have that nice little encounter with Crasher Wake. I don't really know why, but it's cute nonetheless. Uh, let's go ahead and save here right before we enter the gym. All right. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, so many friendship evolutions. Yeah, I mean, I guess you would have to evolve, like, a few Eevees that way as well. Um, all right. So this is the Veilstone City Gym. In it, you have to move these little punching bags to knock over these little stacks of tires. So let me show you how this works. You hit it, and it scoots over, and then it smashes it. And then that opens up the lane for you to go. It's kind of... It looks really weird and busy in here, and as a kid, it was really hard for me to kind of keep track of everything. Um, but, you know, it's still a pretty cool puzzle. I do kind of like it. It's semi-challenging, which I enjoy. But, uh, yeah, this one's interesting. It's a little different than in Diamond and Pearl. In Diamond and Pearl, you're moving kind of like these doors, but it's the same kind of concept, just a little different. Yeah, it is different, yes. Oh, you're working towards a full living dex. Oh, God, love your soul. Um, all right, let's fight some of these karate men. Um, all right, Machoke. Um, Karen is... Oh, let's see what Fire Blast does. Ooh, it looks incredible in this game. It is a one-shot, baby. Let's see what we can do until we miss. Oh, oh, great. There we go. How about this one? All right, so that one doesn't one-shot, but the burn could save us, because this low kick's gonna hurt. Wow. So a burn halves their attack. Um, I know. <laughs> a burn halves their attack, and it still killed us. That's crazy. I know. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting Houndoom to do too terribly much damage here in the fighting gym. At least we were able to get one knocked out. Um, there we go, baby. A wish. Let's see what we have here. I'll forget Sweet Kiss as well. Having healing could be, could be useful for us. There we go. Another Machoke. Um, we'll let uh, Staravia take this one out. Um, oh my gosh, thank you so much for asking, Tainro. My school year is going pretty well. Um, we had one of our kids was out this week, uh, this past week, so it was pretty quiet. Um, but they'll be back um, tomorrow. Not tomorrow, Monday, when I go back. Um, and it's been, it's been pretty solid. Like I said, I, I've said before, I really like all of our kids um, this year. It's been... It's been a good year. It can be tough. Just the nature of my job can be tough because, you know, um, my kids uh, have a hard time behaving so sometimes. That is the purpose of my job. Um, fall break will be happening not soon. It'll be in November, about a month. Um, overall, uh, overall pretty soon, I would say. Excuse me. But it's been going well so far. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, and now the puzzle starts over. So I gotta hit this over there. Um, and if you notice, you can only push them as far as those little red markers at the top. Like when I push it back, it stops at that little red marker. Um, and on this one, it'll stop like right there and whatnot. Um, let's see. So that should knock that one out. Oh, thank you, uh, Kate. Kimp, 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 Kimp. I don't know how to pronounce that, but thank you for following. Um, so now I can scooch through here and this one can knock this one out. That is Maylene, the gym leader that we need to get to. There we go. Hold on, before I do everything, let me fight these couple guys to see if I need to heal again. Mmm. Thanks, Tainro, for rolling out the welcome wagon. 
plug man in, make sure we don't die. Uh, nice fire blast should take out a Machop. There we go. Machoke, we will swap out again. Um, use Inclusion again. Having that Intimidate is always lovely. Oof. Critical hit anyway. Metatite. Um, we will use Pikachu. Ah, Force Palm is an interesting move. It can paralyze in this game. Um, it is... Oh, you just started the, watching the Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, I finished up the Yu-Gi-Oh! playthrough um, a couple weeks ago now. Um, it was really, really fun. I thought we were going to finish way earlier than we did. It just... Um, uh, I just couldn't. I just couldn't get to the end, um, and we had some heartbreak. Um, but I won't spoil too much. I appreciate you watching those. I, um, you know, I kind of primarily have been playing Pokemon to start out with, but I'm branching out into some other stuff. So I'm happy some people have been appreciating the Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, it's been fun. But how you doing? Let's see. Hopefully we can take this out with a fire blast. Because really, Karen is in a one-shot-or-die kind of scenario. I'm gonna choke once again. Um, I like Pachirisu here. Let's see what Thunder can do. Boom! Oh, not a lot. Pachirisu, what are your stats? I always forget. Um, do you kind of... Oh, no, your stats are just really bad. You... <laughs> You're just more of a defensive Pokemon. Like, that was a thunder, man. Um, let's see if we can do that. Um, do you have a favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card? Okay, Camp. I thought I thought it was an E when I first read your name. Um, oh, you dropped off an X and Y. Very cool. Um, do you think you might pick it back up with uh, the Legends ZA? Or, or did you not play X and Y? Um... But also, favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card. Mine is, mine are Jinzo and Black Luster Soldier. Um, because I'm just a, the equivalent of like a Pokemon Gen 1-er when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh. And I am stuck in here, so I need to leave. <laughs> I can heal the squad anyway. While I'm out. Let's see. Yeah, so I'm hoping we can beat the gym today. Um, there is some story stuff we can get to after that. Um, oh, you didn't play XY. Okay, I see. Um, but, uh, XY is pretty cool. Um, it is actually funny. Um, do I have any Twitch commands? I don't know if I know what that means. Um, let's see. We'll save here because I have anxiety. Um, I probably should know what that means. Um, but every generation before that, do you have a favorite Pokemon game, um, KC Camp, or K Camp, rather? Um, so let me keep pushing the, keep pushing the bags around. Oh, did I just block my own way? So some you can push twice, just like that. So let's do that. It's times like these where you can really kind of see the 3D stuff going on. And I can push this back over here because there's multiple stoppers for this punching bag. And I can get that one. I probably could have gotten myself out of my jam last time using that, now that I think about it. Um, okay, so let's pop over here. Um, this can knock this out. Let's the... Oh, yes, yes, yes. I see. I see. Um, yeah, the only things I have set up are just, like, that's, like, third party is just chat. 
Um, let's see here. All right, so we have one more gym battle. I'm struggling to understand where I need to go, but let me fight this guy first, <laughs> and then I'll figure it out. Oh, Emerald, dude. Emerald is incredible. Uh, my, my favorite's Gold, Silver, and Crystal. That's my favorite uh, game, the Generation 2 games. Mmm. This is perfect for Karen. Can I outspeed? Yes, love it. Um... I did also just do a playthrough of Emerald, including Battle Frontier, um, which I'm really... Oh, come on. I thought that would one shot. Okay, great. <laughs> um, but yes, including Battle Frontier, which I'm actually really proud of. Will a bite kill it? Ooh, it's speed tie. Um, oh, <laughs> thanks, Tainer. <laughs> Will this kill it? Okay, it still does. Perfect. Oh, that was perfect for Karen to pick up a kill. Love that. Um, um, Heracross is another Pokemon in this game that you can find via honey trees, which makes sense because in Generation 2, you can find them in the headbutt trees. Um, all right, so what I gotta do, I gotta clear out those three stacks of those. Let's see here. And now I can push this guy sideways, right? Yes, knock that out. Um, okay. And I can push, yes, I can kind of push you around the bend. Let's see here. Let me speed this up just a sketch. Oops. There we go. Great. Now I can go to this other side of this bag, and we can scoot it all the way down. I know, it is a bit busy in here. It's 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 kind of hard to see. Um, that's why I'm really focusing right now. It does kind of give it a good challenge, though. There we go, and I can knock that one over. Now I can go around. No, I can't. Um, let's see, where do I need to go now? Ah, I need to move that guy over again. Yes, this bag can go once more to the left. Perfect. Now I have freed that path of all the tires. I can hit this last bag. And now the path to Maylene is cleared. And we will save. All right. It is really annoying. In Diamond and Pearl, it's different. It's just a little bit, um, a little bit different. I forget what she starts with. We're gonna start with Inclusion. Um, because I know Inclusion won't be as useful against her ace Pokemon. We will save the game again. So this is Maylene. She is a fighting type gym leader. Her ace Pokemon is a very, very big, very, very good new Pokemon for Generation 4 that I'm excited to point out. Um, yeah, she doesn't know what it means to be strong or to be a gym leader. She's kind of new. She's kind of young. Reminds me of Flannery a little bit in her characterization of, in this game. Um, but she's real cool. Mm, there we go. Wow! Oh, love the little poses they hit. Um, oh yeah, you've only played uh, Diamond and Pearl. Oh, Platinum does have a Battle Frontier. You're right. I'm not planning on playing that one. I just love the Emerald one. Um, that's why I wanted to do that. Um, who knows? Maybe someday I'll do it, but I'm not planning on doing it on this playthrough. Um, oh my gosh. Tainrail. Platinum? Platinum's the game. Like... Platinum is the best way to play this region. It's incredible. I, I think it's so much better than uh, BDSP. Um, oh, Rock Tune. That's tough. Um, that's a nice little bit of coverage against my Staravia. Yeah, that hurts. And now we might not outspeed. Let's see. I can use Quick Attack. I'm going to try Wing Attack. No! Crap. Um... Let's see. Yes, oh my gosh. I mean, that was the criticism of 
the criticism of BDSP is that they didn't include the platinum content. Um, I'm thinking a bite will hopefully kill this. There we go. Um, Metatite part psychic, so we can get away with using a dark type move there. Um, Machoke. Here would be a great time to have Staravia, but um, I don't mind Autumn here. Yeah, we'll do that for now. Mmm. Yes, if they ported Platinum to Switch, oh, that'd be sick. Um, that would be really cool. And yeah, I mean, that was one of the reasons I wanted to... We're gonna use Curse. Let's see how much this does. All right, not too much, because this will raise our defense a little bit and our attack, so we should be able to take another strength pretty well. All right, and we sacrifice speed there, but our Razor Leaf should be powered up. Let's see what this does. If it's a crit, it should kill it. Okay, okay, I'll take that. He did use the Focus Energy. All right. No critical hit on us, which is great. Nice. Very, very cool. Um, I will keep battling for now because we have those buffs. Here is Lucario. Ooh. Lucario is a sick sick Pokemon. It is pretty much the mascot for Generation 4. It has its own movie. Lucario is an awesome Pokemon. You can play as Lucario in Smash Bros. It was it was like an instant new mascot for the series when it came out here in Generation 4. It's a fighting and steel type, which is also so cool. Lucario, iconic Pokemon. And the Ace of Maylene, and will be tough to deal with, so let's try. Drain Punch. Uh, this is the TM that she gives. Okay, I was hoping that we would survive because we have a couple of those curses. This will not be very effective, but I'm hoping for a crit. Oh, wow. Yeah, the curses really helped there. Um, and Drain Punch, what it does, you might be able to imagine, it uh, heals Lucario as it uses it. So what I'm really hoping for here is that we can survive one Drain Punch with breakfast so we can use a Yawn um, and we can put this bad boy to sleep. Can we live it? We should. It's only neutral on breakfast. Okay, we're fine. Good. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna hope for a low roll and see what Metronome does. Ah, Force Palm, different move. Ooh, holds on. What do we got? Sludge Bomb, but it doesn't affect because Lucario is a Steel type. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap into Karen. Um, I really hope Lucario doesn't wake up too fast because since it's part Steel, Fire Blast will be super effective and we can hopefully take it out. All right, let's see what, let's, let's see what this does. Probably won't kill it quite yet, and it does! Oh, baby! Executed perfectly. Breakfast holds on. Oh, chef's kiss. Come on, man. Very nice victory. Thank you, K-Camp. Oh, yeah, what's your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card, K-Camp? Do you have one? I forgot I asked you that. Okay, you win. Oh, very nice. Believe it or not, I don't think I've ever really used those really powerful TMs immediately, because it is a little bit early. Oh, we can use Fly outside of battle. That's great. Um, and she gives us that TM for Drain Punch, which we may or may not use. We'll see. Um, oh, Mahavelo! Yes! Um, a very cool card. Yes, I love that choice. Um, that, it, it, it increases its attack more when you equip it with an equip card. Is that right? Is that what it does? I don't remember. So this slides all the way over there and knocks that one out. 
And here, if I just go to Maylene's uh, left, we can slide this one all the way down, all the way down. <laughs> And that clears out that little spot for us to actually leave the gym. Yes, plus 500 attack for every equip card. That is sick. So if you put like an axe of despair on that thing, it's like over 3,000 then, right? Oh, that's a cool card. Dawn's here again in the same spot. Ah, yes. Oh, this is cool. Excuse me. Again, this is cool. Dawn is saying that those Team Galactic goons that we saw earlier by the warehouse um, took her Pokedex away, and we have to go help her um, get it back. So let's heal the squad first things first. Um, but I was saying I don't usually use those really powerful TMs uh, right away just because it seems pretty early, but that really helped in the gym battle, which was super fun. And that's just using my resources, man. I tell my kids that all the time. My school kids. I don't have children. <laughs> um, all right. So we're going to save. After that first try victory against Maylene. All right. So here is Dawn with those Team Galactic goons. And oh, remember Team Galactic? Those horrible people. <laughs> Very awesome. So... Uh, Dawn and I do a team-up double battle, which I love, as you know. It's always so much fun when you get to team up with um, an NPC against uh, in a double battle. I just think that's really cool. Like the Steven battle in uh, Pokemon Emerald, which was really cool uh, when we were with uh, Mira and Cheryl as well. I just really like that. They usually aren't very helpful, <laughs> but I do love that little conceit. Um, screw it. We'll just fire blast, baby. Let's not even mess around. Houndoom's just launching fire blasts left and right. Let's go. And Karen is the one that needs levels right now. Um, let's see. Oh, awesome. Tainero, thank you so much for being here. I really, you've been, you've been great. Thanks. I'll see you later, dude. Um, have a good day. And here we've got Croagunk again. Let's hit another Fire Blast. Let's... I feel like we've gotten really lucky with the Fire Blast accuracy as well. Especially against Lucario. The fact that that was a one-shot, that actually surprised me. I know Fire Blast is a really powerful move, but... Ooh. Oh, Baton Pass. Ooh, she has a Kadabra. Very cool. And that's a one-shot, baby. Ah, well. Stunky. I don't know. Can this Stunky hold on? It cannot. It cannot. Okay, so my Houndoom is immediately OP. If you want a Pokemon that's maybe too strong, just catch a Houndour and teach a Fire Blast. So we just smoked these Team Galactic Fools. Um, so who, all the, they're, Team Galactic's gonna own all the Pokemon in the world. No, the universe, according to them. So they don't even care about our stupid Pokedex. Um, ah. All right. Why is Team Galactic out in the streets like they own the place? Ugh. So now she's gonna go to the Pokemon Mansion on Route 212. There's a lot of stuff that you can get kind of over there. Um, and there are some rare Pokemon there. We might we might stop there at some point in our journey. <laughs> Here's Looker. <laughs> He's wonderful, of course. He's on the trail of Team Galactic. You insult me to my face? How very uncouth of you. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I was very irritated. Oh, that's so funny. Um, love Looker. He's just a silly, stressed out guy. Um, so he wants us to kind of check out the Team Galactic warehouse here. And we walk in with him and he's just like, what's going on in here? And they said they moved the stuff to Pastoria City. So 
uh, there's not really anything for us to find here. And that one door, like he just pointed out, is closed for now. And in this game, in Platinum, they really point out that this is where you get the HM for fly. <laughs> just to make sure that you don't miss it. Looker pointing it out there is just the game telling you like, hey, pick this up, man. Um, so that's very nice of him. And of course, we will pick up HMO2 fly here in the Galactic Warehouse. Um, ooh, your Platinum team is Empoleon, Toxicroak, Drapion, and Breloom. Very cool. You got some, uh, you got some poison types going on there. I love that. Um, ah, oh yes, they've transported something to Pastoria City. Uh, Breloom is a Pokemon I thought about using in our Emerald playthrough, but I wanted to start with Sceptile. Um... All right, so now we have Fly, which is a good flying type move. We'll go ahead and teach it to Breakfast, because Breakfast could use another move. And I think the time has finally come. Oh, you know what, we'll get rid of Wish. We can keep Metronome. I like to keep Metronome around just for fun. I, I'm never gonna use Wish, if I'm gonna be honest. We have healing items. This isn't a Nuzlocke or anything, um, or like a challenge run. We can use healing items. Um, great, so now that we have fly, we can fly around. Here is the Sinnoh map. We haven't really seen it yet. One of my favorite cities is over here, Cantilave City. We can't get there yet, um, but we are heading down here past Lake Valor. Um, here at the beginning, we saw Lake Verity, but now we're gonna see Lake Valor and go to Pastoria City. That's kind of uh, where things are going next. I won't give away too much. Um, let's see. So let's heal the squad. Yes, I, I see that you went with Piplup there, uh, K-Camp. Piplup was definitely my second choice if we didn't pick Turtwig. Um, all right, let's keep rolling along, guys. This is delightful, making some good progress. Um, yeah, we have some more time to get a little further here. Skitter could be helpful because we are um, approaching a water gym. So we might give Skitter a little, a little run. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. So if we go in here, there's this guy. And he is the Ruin Maniac. He's just going to ch keep chipping away at this wall little by little. And he's fascinated by the unknown. And I'm pretty sure by the end of the game, he has this tunnel going um, all the way to the Selassian Ruins. And here is actually where you find the TM for Dig, which makes a ton of sense, because this fella is digging away. Oh, interesting. You do a water starter for every gen, except gen one, you do Charizard. I am definitely more of a grass starter man myself. I, I generally tend to like all the starters. There are some that I don't like. Um, let's see. Um, I think there's some stuff in this grass. Let's, let's hit a rappel. Like maybe if I use my dowsing machine. I don't know, I thought there was something in there. Ooh, a Magmarizer. That is an interesting new item that lets you evolve Magmar, which I don't like. Uh, um, there are a lot of cross-generation evolutions in this game. That was kind of like one of the big things that Generation 4 did. Um, but I don't like it for a lot of the evolutions. I was talking about how Roserade, which Gardenia has, um, is really cool. I like Roserade, but there are some Pokemon that got evolutions that I don't really agree with, which is super important, all right? These are the important issues that everyone needs to be talking about. Uh, uh, almost spilled my self to there. All right, here we have Cranidos. We'll just do Ottoman. 
And if you remember, this is the boss Pokemon from the first gym. And I don't remember if it's... Oh, wow. It's special defense is bad. Very bad. For a Mega Drain to one-shot like that... Yeah, Cranidos does not have very good special defense. Maybe it's in here? I'm pretty sure you can find an item in one of these little patches of grass. If I pop down here. Oop, in the corner? Yes. Alright, so I gotta fight this guy. You see how that grass has a little corner out of it? It's a telltale sign that there's an item there. Hmm. Porygon, lovely. Uh, traced Flash Fire. Ooh, that's so interesting. So this Porygon has the ability Trace, and it just traced Houndoom's ability Flash Fire, which means I cannot use fire moves on it. So now I'm forced to use Bite. Oh, my favorite Pokemon. Um, Magnet Rise is a really interesting move. Sorry. It is. It uses Electromagnetism to levitate, which eliminates its weakness, any electric Pokemon's weakness to ground-type moves. Um, which is actually really interesting, especially for a Pokemon like Magneton or something that has a four times weakness to ground moves. Oh, wow. Um, so we're just going to be chipping away at this Porygon, and basically until it flinches. Um, my favorite Pokemon um, is Lugia. Uh, and now it's fast. All right, we're going to have to do something different here. Um, I think Breakfast's Return should be able to punch through this Recover wall. There we go. Uh, yes, my favorite Pokemon's Lugia. Most of my favorite Pokemon are in Generation 2. As you can see, I've got my little Lugia here. He's one of my great friends. Um, I also have another one in the back, um, that I got not too long ago. Um, here on my shelf, I have... I have my boy Smeargle. Smeargle is another one of my faves. Um, but yeah, Lugia is my favorite of all time. Big fan of like Espeon as well. Lugia, Espeon, Ampharos are probably three of my favorite Pokemon. Smeargle too. Skarmory. I pretty much just named basically the top five. Um, Oh, a Razor Fang. I'm pretty sure this evolves another Pokemon too. But it has like a secondary effect, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, the Razor Fang. If a Pokemon holds it, the opponent can flinch. This is actually really nice. Um, ooh, let's give it to Karen. We can maybe combo that with Bite. Um, and really get scary on our opponents. But Ninetales is a great choice. Love Ninetales. Um... There we go. Alolan Ninetales is also super sick. Um, I'm gonna have to find a way for us to play um, the Generation 7 games when we get there. Um, so Shieldon is not like Cranidos. Um, Cranidos is only rock type, um, but Shieldon is part steel type. At least I'm pretty sure. I know its evolution is. Oh my gosh, of course it was! Ampharos is iconic, man. It is just the best. Um, but yeah, Generation 2 has like my whole heart. Honest, honestly, um, the Generation 2 games are one of the big reasons that I want to go to Japan at some point in my life. Um, just because a lot of those locations are based on like old world Japan, like Kyoto and stuff like that. Um, that's one of the reasons I want to go. Let's see. Let's fight this fellow. Uh, there might be a couple more trainers up there that we can battle. Ooh, a Jolteon. How cool. Um, yeah, we'll swap into Autumn. It might have Double Kick as well. Excuse me. Does he have all three? That would be crazy. There we go. Karen of 27. He does have all three. Very cool. 
Um, yeah, here we'll just go into breakfast. Alright. How's the defense on this bad boy? Not good enough for my return. Yeah, breakfast with return is starting to clean up here. And here is a nice little spot for Skidder to get some experience. Hit you with the thunder. Oh, baby, come on. And paralyzed. Ah. Well, quick attack will go right through that speed drop. Perfect. Yeah, those are all going to give a ton of experience. Um, having the amulet coin this early is also really good. Let's get Pikachu up first. Ah, I'll make sure I grab that item on the way back. Hmm. It would have been really good to keep Houndoom in the front to take care of these ghost types. But that's all right. All right, so the only move Vaporeon... That's three in a row. The only move... That is four in a row. Oh my gosh. Am I going to miss every single... I missed every blizzard. How is that even possible? What happened there? I missed every blizzard. Now I can't attack it. Now I have to switch. <laughs> that is so dumb. Okay, I'm like, does bite hit? My lord. That was stupid, man. And I'll just stay in against the Kadabra. That's gonna... Houndoom will kill a Kadabra every time. That was really weird, honestly. Um... Alright, whatever, man. So if you look over here, to the left, there is just an empty little spot where an item is perfectly placed. Uh, again, just a telltale sign. And Carbos is actually great, that'll increase our speed. Um, I'll give that to somebody while I'm thinking about it. Um, let's give that to... We'll give it to Karen. Just make her real speedy. Because Karen does not have very good defenses. Oh, yes. And I fought that guy up there. I am annoyed that I'm completely out of blizzards already. And I'm just gonna have to quick attack away with Pikachu. Whoa, you speed ran uh, Sapphire so you could complete the Ruby Pokedex. That is so cool. Love to hear that. Um, that is impressive. That is not something I would have had the patience to do, if I'm being honest. Um, another Wormadam. Let's do... I will stay in. Oh. oh, so this is kind of what I was talking about earlier. We just defeated the Grass Cloak Wormadam. This is like the Sand Cloak Wormadam, as you can see, that it looks much different. Um, kind of like rocky, sandy looking. And then, once we get through this here, we are going to see the Trash Cloak Wormadam. It's kind of like a steel and bug type. Not kind of, it is. Ah, couldn't quite live that. That's all right. Um, we'll just go into Skitter. Ah. Uh, all right. We made it through. Lovely. All right, let's item up here. No. I'm going to pop over here to um, Veilstone again just to heal the squad really quick. But that is impressive about Ruby. I, again, I, I'm, I'm kind of conflicted because I've played the third versions of all of these games so far. We've done Yellow, Crystal, Emerald, and Platinum. 
Um, and I want to play like their original versions here as well. Like I would like to play Ruby. I would like to play like Ruby or Sapphire. I'd like to play gold or silver. Um, but you really, it's kind of a similar game, uh, a very similar game to uh, like Crystal or Emerald or this. And I want to make sure I give enough time before I revisit those games so it's not like I'm playing the same game over again. I'll, I mean, you know, I'll make sure I use a different team or whatnot. Um, that was actually a pretty cool item. So we just got an item called the Big Root. And if we go down here, the Big Root, as you can see, it looks like a root. It is a Pokemon Hold item that boosts the power of HP stealing moves to let the holder recover more HP. And our friend uh, Autumn the Grodel has Mega Drain. So this will let Mega Drain um, heal Grodel even more when we use it, which is very nice. Um, and this is the Valor Lakefront. So we've been to the Verity Lakefront um, at the beginning of the game. There's that item over there. Oops. Oh, wow. These Pokemon are at a higher level. So our repel didn't even work. Great. Um, there we go. Got an Ultra Ball. I feel like there's another item in here. All right, so we'll just go there. And this is where you can get to Lake Valor. Um, but they say there's a legendary Pokemon at this lake. I aim to capture it on film like I've done before. It was me who filmed that Red Gyarados at Lake of Rage. Oh, very cool. Um, so we can't get in Lake Valor yet. That is an area that we will discover a little later on. And this is a cute little area um, that has these villas here on this hill. Um, she dropped, this woman dropped her sweet key. And we are going to use our dowsing machine to try to find it. And if we go down here by the hotel, which is right in here, we should be able to find it. And another thing about this hotel, if you talk to this guy, um, you can just rest a while and it'll heal your Pokemon. So that's a pretty simple little spot to heal if you need to on your way to Pastoria City. Now, yeah, I don't think it's in the hotel. Where is the key? Yes, there it is. So now that we have the sweet key, we can run back to this lady here and give it back to her. Ah, oh, my sweet key, you found it for me. That's sweet of you, ha ha ha. And I don't remember if she gives us a reward for it, does she? Thanks for helping me out. Here's something for your trouble. Oh, the white flute. Um, the white flute is a pretty useful item. Um, you can attract more wild Pokemon with it if you want to. And if you remember, we were able to get a white flute in Hoenn when we collected enough ash to create it. Um, all right. So there's a lot of rock climb items you can get around here that we can't quite get yet. If we wanna go over here, this guy's gonna stop us. He's gonna say, um, Sunny Shore City um, is having a major blackout. So they're trying to restore things in the city over there. And spoiler alert, um, that's a, a big city that we're gonna go to later. And here is a restaurant area. This, this little villa area isn't really too, uh, they don't talk about it much, but there's a lot of cool things you can do. Like you can heal your Pokemon at the hotel, you can get that white flute. Um, you can fight all of these trainers in double battles if you want to, which we're not gonna do right now, but that's a really cool thing. I actually like this area at the Valor Lakefront um, in Route 213, um, where you can find some cool stuff. PowerPoint up as well. Um, All right. So we found her sweet key. Our squad is healed. Um, yeah, we might go just a little longer today. All right. So there are a few more trainers around here. You know what? 
we're gonna pause right here. I'm actually at a pretty good stopping point. Um, so we can pause right here. We can get um, to Pastoria City next time because we have a few more trainers we can take out. Um, I'm loving this game so far. I was really happy with the way our Maylene fight went. That was super fun. Um, and I appreciate y'all stopping by on a Saturday, especially you, K Camp. Thanks for being here with us. Um, it's good to have you. Uh, we will be back probably on Monday um, with more Platinum. I was so excited to start the Tekken 2 series, as you all know. Uh, and we'll continue that every other every other week or so. Um, but folks, thank you once again. Make sure you have a wonderful rest of your Saturday. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Um, and thank you for making my day a little bit brighter. This has been so much fun. So with that, have a good day. Have a good weekend once again. Peace out, kids. <laughs>